it has been a busy, busy summer. And as we end August, I'm here to share some of the projects that I've been working on this summer. So we have had a very busy summer. I live in Calgary and the summer here has been long and hot and beautiful. Um, and my family has definitely made the most of it. We have gone and done and seen and traveled and experienced so many things this summer from uh, rodeos to festivals, um, we went on a couple short little vacations. We went rafting down the river. We did all kinds of things, but I still did find some time to sew quite a few things. And as I sat down to make the list to, to prep for this video, I was actually quite surprised by how many things I had finished this summer since the last time I checked in. So I have a few things to show you. Um, I have to admit, I'm feeling a little bit out of practice. It's been quite a while since I sat down with the camera and since I actually took photos of most of the garments that I have made. So um, the lighting on the photos isn't the best. So my apologies for that. Um, we have been having construction work done on our apartment building since the beginning of July. So for eight weeks now, we have had basically constant concrete drilling and hammering sounds from about eight in the morning until 4 p.m. every day. It's important work, has to be done. Um, really grateful that they're, they're doing it because safety is important, but it's, it just meant that I haven't been able to film. And um, even taking photos outside has been challenging because a lot of our, the places where I usually take my pictures outside have been cordoned off to allow space for the crews to work. So anyway, the photos that I took of these makes are taken inside my apartment in my bedroom. So they're not the greatest, but I figured, you know what, you'd rather just see them. And before summer in Calgary ends, I wanted to show them off. So. The first thing I have to show you is a hack that I made of the Gilbert top from Helen's Closet. So I made the dress, um, dress hack two that is on Helen's blog. So I talked about this in a couple of videos previously. I had picked up the fabric for this dress and was trying to decide what to do with it. And I did finish it. So this is the dress that the fabric that I used for the dress. It is a cotton poplin that I got at Fabricland here in Calgary. Um, it's beautiful. So the Gilbert dress is, uh, the, the Gilbert top rather, is a collared shirt pattern. It's supposed to be relaxed and quite loose fitting. Um, it has a, a burrito method yoke and I didn't have enough fabric so I had to use something lightweight cotton from my stash so it doesn't quite match exactly but that's fine. Um, so I made mine with a short sleeve and then I added a long, like a midi length gathered skirt. And I used all the fabric that I had left. That's why I didn't have enough fabric for the inner yoke. And I cut just rectangles and gathered those rectangles onto the skirt. Um, I finished it off with these metallic green buttons that I got at Rick Rack Textiles last year. Um, and I'm really thrilled. Oh, well, there's the drilling, my apologies. I'm really thrilled with how this turned out. I think that um, it's a, <laughs> It's quite a statement dress. So um, I haven't worn it out on the street and in public yet for two reasons. One, I did do a full bicep adjustment on the pattern, but it wasn't quite enough. It's just a bit snug in my the upper arm. Um, and it's been hot here. Like it's been a very, very toasty summer in Calgary. Lots of parts of the Northern Hemisphere. But when it's that hot, I really didn't want to wear something that snug fitting. Um, so it's a great dress. I feel like, and I mean this in absolutely the very best way, um, I feel like like a baba or grandma, baba is Ukrainian for grandma, um, baba on vacation. So my grandmother and my friend's grandmothers often wore brightly colored floral dresses when I was growing up. And this is exactly the kind of thing that like, I could imagine my very zesty grandmother wearing out on vacation when she was about my age. So I love it. Um, I hope that I get some wear out of it next year. Um, I do think if I was going to make another dress like this, I would look for something that has a different waistline. Like I might, I might just, I would just have fitted more of a fitted shirt dress um, with if I was gonna do another gathered skirt, I think I would do a circle skirt instead of just a gathered rectangle skirt, just for a bit of a nicer shape. But this turned out really well. I was thrilled with the hack. The instructions were super clear and it was fun to put together and just a fun, satisfying project to make. Going in a completely different direction, the next thing I have to show you is a Megan Nielsen Jara sweatshirt that I made early this summer um, out of 
French Terry from the Fabric Snob and White Ribbing from Loiseau Fabric here in Calgary. And then I bought the cutest little embroidered patch to put on it. I did put it on, then I wasn't happy with the placement, so I took it off and I have to reattach it. Um, but I bought this little lemon to put on sort of just above the you know chest pocket for that classic sweatshirt style. And I thought the yellow just really pops right off that dusty blue. I love this. It's so soft. It's comfortable. Um, I made the jar a sweatshirt and I cropped it. So it's quite cropped. Um, I did do a full bicep adjustment on that one as well. It's got an off the shoulder um, sleeve, so drop sleeve uh, or dropped shoulder sleeve. And so I wanted to make sure that there was enough room in the bicep because the pattern that I had printed at home was the smaller of the size range instead of the curve. And so I was kind of like right on the edge of it not quite fitting, made it work, really thrilled with it. It looks really cute with shorts um, and I wear it with jeans and white jeans and around my house and running around. I wore it this morning when I dropped my kids off at camp and um, I love it. I love that fabric from the Fabric Snob. I'm not sure they have any of it left. It's their pencil stripe French terry and it's just perfect for this type of sweatshirt. Continuing with the stripes and I do love a stripe. This is one of my favorite things that I have ever made and it is a Concord tee from Cashmerette hacked into a dress. So what I did here was I cut out the Concord tee as per my measurements so I had um, my bust and graded out to the waist measurement that I typically would make um, because I know this t-shirt fits me well and then I uh, drafted a really simple skirt so I added about four four inches of ease on each for each hip so eight inches total ease around my hip measurement because I wanted it to be loose but not um, too loose and then I knew that it would the elastic would bring it up and the way it bloused over it would have a nice shape but I didn't want it a line to a line so just a gradual curve out on the hip I added some seam allowance on the top of the skirt and the bottom of the bodice and then I made a casing put an elastic in and done and I feel so chic in this dress so it's made out of a bamboo rayon spandex that I got from Rip Rack Textiles I love it it's cool, it's light. Um, I still felt really put together and chic. I've worn it, um, I wore it when we were traveling, so I wore it in the car for eight hours, and I feel like anything that's comfortable enough to wear for that long in the car, great. I also wore it out for dinner, so I still felt quite put together. I wore it to street festival. Um, I would wear it to the office under a blazer or a nice cardigan. Like I think it's quite a classic look and silhouette I was really happy with it and it's it's so comfortable and that bamboo rayon like it just is so breathable it was so nice to wear when it was like we went um, to visit family in the interior of British Columbia and it was like 39 degrees Celsius and humid so it was amazing it was a great dress to wear I am thrilled with this so I've had this in my head um, a t-shirt style dress with a proper like shoulder not a dolman um, just slight amount of ease at the waist and elastic and then a little bit of ease in the hip, sort of a straight skirt in my head for at least a year. I'd never been able to find exactly the right pattern and then when I did find some, I didn't really wanna spend the money on it, was able to put the hack together and it worked exactly the way I wanted to. So I'm thrilled with this and I think I will make another dress out of the pattern that I put together. Um, I have some black, a bamboo cotton jersey that I think would make for a great just dead easy work dress like a you know secret pajama style um, still some polish to it but very comfortable and very easy to throw on and go I only did one pattern test this summer and that was at the very beginning of summer and that was for itch to stitch I tested their solar top and dress uh, I think solar is how you pronounce it s-o-l-l-e-r it's a v-neck um, top, knit top or dress with some ruching on sort of above the, below the shoulder seam above the bust line to, to give a nice curve and give that sort of the V neckline kind of almost gets a bit of a sweetheart shape to it. Uh, the top is cropped, it hits at the high hip and then there's a dress, it's kind of straight cut t-shirt dress style. Um, so I made two. So the first one is the t-shirt that I made out of a bamboo jersey, again from Rick Rack in a wine color. Um, and I loved this detail. So it's ruched with elastic underneath and then the V neckline is uh, bound, so it's a binding. And then very simple, 
um, binding on the arm hem and then just hemmed on the bottom. This is a great t-shirt. I think um, if I was gonna make another one of these, I might lengthen it just a little bit. So I'm quite, I'm short-waisted, but I'm long between the waist and the hip. So my length is on my legs. I think it could be just a little bit longer to, for me to get the most wear out of it, but I do really like it. I think it's just a little bit of a level up from a classic V-neck t-shirt. I also made the dress version. So for this, I used cotton spandex jersey. So I think it's a 95% cotton, 5% spandex um, jersey, also from the Fabric Snob. Um, this is old stock that they don't have in, anymore. It was last year's, it was called Summer Treats, I think. Anyway, it's a bit of a heathered peachy pink color. Um, and I had just the right amount to make it. I didn't have any left over. Um, so I made the dress and I really like the way it fits. Again, like this um, detail on, you know, sort of on the bodice front, really like the V-neck line, sort of a softer V. Um, the binding is really, like it's really fun and it comes together really well. Uh, this is very straight. So it's one piece, it doesn't have a separate waist seam or separate bodice and skirt. And I think what I discovered is that on my body, a dress, a t-shirt dress or a, a knit fabric dress that doesn't have a waist seam looks like a nightgown. So I have worn this out. I've worn this, um, I wore it till lunch with a friend. I wore it over to a friend's for coffee, wore it to the grocery store, threw it on under a jean jacket, put on a necklace and some cute shoes. And I felt, you know, totally appropriately dressed. But if I don't accessorize it, I look like I'm wearing my nightgown because there's no waist seam. And honestly, it would make a great nightgown too. Um, so I thought about putting an elastic, just adding an elastic um, waistband to it instead of doing a casing, like just putting in, you know, some elastic to cinch the waist in, but we'll see. I also really liked having something just to throw on that was loose and breathable like it's cotton. So it was great to wear in the summer. Um, the color I think is pretty, it, it's a little bit I have a bit of a tan, so I think like it looks, it looks nice. It's summery, it's cool. I had, you know, I've enjoyed wearing it. I will say this detail, like I do really like the ruching detail. It definitely is a very round. So if you're concerned about your upper body looking rounder here, um, just think about that. Uh, but I actually think for me, like I like the way it adds some something here to look at instead of, you know, further down on my body where I like the attention up here. So early in the summer, I was doing a little bit of stress uh, relieving online shopping on one of the fabric websites, on one of the fabric websites that I frequent, which is the Fabric Club Canada or Club Tissues out of Montreal and Quebec. Um, and they had a orange print um, jersey fabric and I just, I fell in love with it. I thought it was so cute and summery and I've seen, I love a citrus print. Um, I look terrible in yellow and so the lemons like I just I love it but it was it was something that I thought I'm I'm never gonna actually wear it as much as I want to um, and but this orange print just sort of called out to me orange is a little bit easier for me to wear and I just this year we weren't gonna get away on a vacation to anywhere where citrus fruit grows um, and I do you know every once in a while indulge in a fantasy of, of being somewhere like in the Mediterranean or you know closer to the equator where you can grow citrus fruit and having a backyard citrus tree and like fantasy Megan lives a very rich life as you know um but anyway so I bought the fabric because couldn't go on a vacation but I sure could buy the fabric with the oranges on it and when it came it's it's a cotton spandex um so you know it's it's got quite a bit of snap to it and it's not as drapey as some other fabric knit fabric that I prefer to use for dresses but it's great it's a nice nice quality cotton jersey um and so I made uh the willow wrap dress from love notions out of it so I also put a flutter sleeve on it because um I knew that the love notions um short sleeve would probably I would need a bicep adjustment um I had the this size in the flutter sleeve traced out already, so thought I would go for it. Um, the flutter sleeve in the sort of less drapey cotton jersey doesn't doesn't drape as nicely as it does in like a rayon spandex or bamboo knit or double brush polyester or whatever, but it still is really nice and cute and it has that really romantic and feminine look to it that I really liked. Um, I wore this 
uh, to the office and I wore it out uh, on a walk with my daughter and I had a number of people stop me on the street to tell me they liked my dress and asked me where I had gotten it, which is one of the big thrills of sewing your own clothing. Um, so yeah, I really, I really like this. I think it's really pretty. I can't wait to wear it on vacation someday. Um, and around town here, it's been fun to, you know, put on and have a drink out on the patio and imagine sea breezes and things like that. But yeah, this was cute. Um, this fabric I think would be adorable for kids clothing, kids pajamas, um, that type of thing. And, you know, t-shirts, pajamas, leggings, anything that requires that nice quality cotton jersey. It's not see-through even though it's white um, on the back and it's got a good amount of stretch in both directions. So yeah, I, I really did like this and I thought it just, I got some really nice summer, summer vibes from it. So I enjoy wearing it. I enjoyed sewing it. And um, I had made the willow wrap dress pattern before a few times. This time I used the full bust front piece instead of just the regular bust front piece. And I'm glad I did that because it gave me just a little bit more room in the bust and also in the back. Um, I think that I could probably have gone up a size in the waist. Um, but like I'm happy with the way it fits. But again, it's because it's that cotton spandex, like it fits quite snugly um, as opposed to something else that, you know, I've made the exact same dress in um, double brush polyester and, and it's not as snug, like it stretches, it's a little bit of a softer fabric. So, um, but yeah, I, I definitely wasn't putting shaper on underneath this one <laughs> when it's in the mid thirties. So um, yeah, I still, I, I think I'm, I'm quite happy with it and uh, really appreciate the, the full bust option. It's not something that I usually need to use, um, but sometimes like I'm right on that edge of, of, you know, just a little bit more wiggle room. And I thought with a wrap dress, it, it doesn't hurt just to have just a little bit more room in the top. I wouldn't want it to be too tight because I wouldn't want it to gape. So, um, yeah, so that's a great pattern. The last dress I have to show you is from Cashmeret. It's the Turner dress. And I would say this for me is a, a TNT, like a tried and true pattern. The Turner dress is just a lovely classic knit dress. It's a fit and flare or skater silhouette. So it's got a nice bodice with a waistline that's closer fitting. And then, an, uh, I don't know if it's a quarter circle or like a flared out skirt. Um, the bodice is lined, so it has a really nice soft V. Um, I made it with short sleeves and it's just, it's beautiful. So I made it from this rayon spandex that I also bought from Club Tissues or the Fabric Club. And it's in this beautiful, like ditzy floral. It's got purple and teal, um, all colors that I love to wear. So I actually made this to wear to work. Um, underneath I have a blazer that's magenta and a blazer that's the same color green so it will be perfect for the office and for casual wear with a jean jacket it just I, I really like it I feel super confident in this dress I feel like it looks nice I'm comfortable um, it doesn't feel tight so I don't feel self-conscious and, and I think it's just a great dress um, the Turner you know it's a really straightforward dress and the only thing I would say is that I would fill my closet with them but I think I would get bored of them like they don't you know I could use some kind of hack to spice it up a little bit some interesting ruching or you know tie details or something so I'm gonna take a look around Instagram and, and blog posts and see if anyone's done any hacks because the pattern is not new um, it's several years old and I know it's well loved so I'm sure I will find some inspiration from other sewists because it is it's a beautiful dress and it really it's timeless it's never gonna go out of style and it doesn't require a ton of fabric if you want to put a seam up the back skirt to save on fabric that's totally reasonable i had enough fabric to do the skirt in one piece front and back um so it's the front piece and the back piece but i didn't need to seam it but yeah you can do that and then it is lined and i did self line it with the same fabric but i've also made ones where i lined it with a different fabric so it really you don't need a lot of fabric to get a really nice dress and and it is it's polished and it's professional and I'm, I'm, I think it's a great one. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And I think the fabric that I chose, it's, um, it's very trendy. I would say this like small ditzy floral is very on trend. I think that these colors, it's a black background, um, are basically trans seasonal. So I can wear this in the winter with tights, uh, in the summer without tights. If, I think, you know, it's, it's a good four season one. And I do love these colors. They're, they're some of my favorites. So really happy with this Turner dress. 
And the last thing I have to show you is what I am wearing. So this is the um, Cashmere at Curso top from the book Ahead of the Curve. I've been working on this for months. So if you watch my channel, you've known that I've been working on the Curso top and getting it to fit for some time. And I had made one muslin a couple months ago and it, like it didn't fit anywhere. It Something was wrong with it. It was me. Somehow I had either traced or cut out the pattern incorrectly. And when I put it together, it was way too tight across the front. The, the arm side was way too high. It was all a mess. So I very carefully remeasured myself, carefully traced out the pattern again, um, cut out a muslin. And so this um, cut out a muslin out of a different fabric and then fit it. And all I did to fit it was I dropped the arm side a little bit, like I lowered it uh, and I straightened the way I had graded between waist and hip size. So for this top um, in the and in all cashmere patterns, I use the EF bodice, cup bodice, and I go 16 bust to 20 waist to 22 hip. And I have found that um, my curve from the waist to hip, you know, was starting to get a bit too curvy and so I just kind of straightened it out and I think I got a really good fit and so I made this one last week and it is with a rayon poplin that I bought last year at Rick Rack Textiles um, again in the ditzy floral this is navies and blues and some brighter shades um, and I love it I'm thrilled with this I think it is the like st it's a standard v-neck shell top um, it is lined, so the bust and back are lined about halfway down the top, so the lining falls under the bust line for me. Um, I think that if I was going to tweak it a little bit, I could use a tiny bit more room across the back. So I might do that either by just taking um, a smaller seam allowance or, you know, taking a look and maybe seeing if there's like a, a back adjustment I could do but honestly like I think it fits pretty well and it's comfortable like I'm not uncomfortable wearing it so I'm not sure I would mess with the pattern um, I really like that it has that soft wide V it's not you know it just it's quite flattering um, I think a flattering and, and professional shape like it's not doesn't show off too much cleavage can wear it to the office um, but still it's you know I like having a little bit of skin here so um, I still like I like it I like it to wear it tucked in or wear it out like it's a little bit longer so I can wear it out with you know whatever pants or skirt I like and then tucked into a higher waist jean or higher waist dress pant I think it looks great so um, I do think the Curso top is a great top I think I was I was really happy that I persevered and stuck through making the pattern and making sure it fit me and giving it another try instead of just saying like there's no way this is gonna fit um, and I do, I do like it. I have made the Springfield top, which is another cashmere pattern. It's a rounded neck camisole. And the difference is, is that the Springfield top is finished with bias um, facing and this one has a lining. So you could do a bias facing um, on the Curso top too, but I, I do like the lining. I think it hangs really nicely and it, it just adds another layer of fabric. So it's not so thin and yeah, I'm really enthralled with it. I think it's really versatile and I can wear it in lots of places and it's just a fun summer top um, that looks great under a blazer or a sweater on its own. So those are the projects that I have made this summer. It's quite a few. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Um, obviously what I have learned this summer is that I like a jersey dress. Um, I like a jersey dress that's got, you know, a little bit of ease throughout it and a defined waist. Um, and I, I am enjoying sewing things that I can wear out uh, casually but also look good in a work setting. So um, I've been having some fun exploring different fabrics and playing with pattern hacks and being a little bit more adventurous in you know trying to figure out how to make the patterns that I have and that I know already fit me work in other ways. So that has been fun. Um, I hope that you've had a great summer. If uh, you have any questions, let me know. And um, I have a few other projects on the go and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.